Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a bit of a different video. So this video was kindly being sponsored by the lovely Simon & Schuster for the release of Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. This book comes out later this month on April 24th, so you can go and get yourself a copy then. This story follows our main character named Amelia, who is spending her summer working in her local ice cream stand, and this ice cream stand has a very long history. It was created by women, and it is run by women, and it has a very long history of that, until one day this boy ends up moving to town, who is the nephew of the owner of the ice cream stand and he kind of wants to take over the business and start running things in a different way and as you can expect that starts to cause some problems. It sounds like a really really fun summary contemporary and I'm very excited to read this book because it's very different from what I'm used to reading and I'm excited to try something totally new out. Also reading a book about an ice cream stand just sounds really fun. So since this story is about Amelia working in this ice cream stand, today I'm going to be making my very own ice cream sundae as I share some like life updates with you all. So basically throughout the entire month of April on every Sunday a different booktuber is going to upload a video just like this giving you all a life update, talking about Stay Sweet, and making their own ice cream sundae. I'm very grateful that I get to share this with you all on the very first Sunday of April so that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be making an ice cream sundae and chatting with you all for a bit and also having another giveaway. So yeah I'm very excited about this video. It's very different from my usual content but I love getting to share stuff with you all and I feel like making an ice cream sundae on a sundae and just chilling with you all sounds like the perfect time so I'm so excited. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video because after I make my ice cream sundae and give you all a bit of a life update I'm going to be giving you all the information for the giveaway so if you want to enter the giveaway make sure you stick around until the end. But until then let's head on over to my kitchen and start on our delicious ice cream sundae. Hello, hi, welcome to my kitchen. So as you can see here, I have all of my ice cream supplies. We of course have my ice cream, which I really like chocolate ice cream. It's my favorite type of ice cream to eat. And I don't usually eat anything else. Chocolate's like pretty much my go-to. So we have some here. And then of course we have some toppings and things to put inside of the ice cream because this is a sundae. It's not just a regular scoop of ice cream. So one of my favorite things to put on ice cream is Oreos because I just think that they taste really good crumbled on top of ice cream. It just makes it taste even better. And it gives it like a little bit of a crunchiness. I know people like putting nuts. I'm not a huge nut fan. So for me, I like putting Oreos on it. And then I also got some rainbow sprinkles because I just thought that that was really fun and really cute. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some rainbow sprinkles and some Oreos on my ice cream sundae and then eat it and talk about some things and have a good time. So let's get into making it. All right, I moved my camera so that you can see the ingredients better and you can't see my face. So this is a little weird. I've never filmed like this before. But first we are going to take a scoop of some chocolate ice cream. I don't really know why I'm narrating everything. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory how to make an ice cream sundae, but this is my way of making one. So we're gonna take one scoop. This is actually Belgian chocolate. So it has like, I think some chocolate like pieces in it as well, which make it even better. This bowl is like actually too big, but whatever. Okay, that's a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to take some of these Oreos and just like break them and crumble them on top of my ice cream sundae. Again, pretty self-explanatory. I think I'll probably do like two or three. I think that'll be like a good number of them. Two should be pretty good. All right, and now to finish it off, I'm just gonna put a few little rainbow sprinkles on the top not because they taste like anything, but mostly just because they make it pretty. And there we have it. That's my ice cream sundae. There you go. That's your close-up look. It's pretty beautiful if I do say so myself. All right, so now we're just gonna take this and go sit down and I'm gonna have a little chat with you guys as I eat my ice cream. This is a pretty good ice cream sundae. I'm pretty proud of myself. All right, so I basically just moved over to this comfy chair that's just somewhere in my living room and I have my ice cream right here and now I'm just gonna chat with you guys. So what's been going on in my life? I feel like I don't actually get too personal on my channel here that often and it's not because like I don't wanna tell you guys things. It's just because I never really find like a good way of doing it but I think that this video is obviously the perfect way to do it and I'm really happy that I get to share some stuff with you all. So in terms of school, I am about to finish my second semester of my junior year of college and you know, college has been a rough time lately. <laughs> 
classes have been fine and everything. It's just been kind of hard for me personally and emotionally. There's a lot that's been going on. I haven't been feeling my best. So it's taken a toll on me and being at school and having the stress of school has kind of made all of that a bit worse. I also don't have too many friends at school. So being away from most of my friends makes it really difficult for me because I'm very much the type of person who constantly likes to be around people, specifically my friends, not just any people. So I get very sad and lonely when I'm not around my friends for a very long time and that's kind of what it's been like being away. I know that this is all starting off really sad and I don't mean it to, but this is just basically what my life has been. So I'm just trying to be honest about it. Apart from that though, I am very excited for the semester to end because like I said, school's been a lot and that stress has been a lot and I need something to alleviate it. But this summer is definitely going to do that. If you didn't know, I'm going to be at Book Expo and BookCon this summer and I am so excited for it. I cannot wait. I'm actually going to be on the BookTube panel for BookCon with so many other incredible, amazing BookTubers and I just cannot wait. I am so grateful and I'm so excited about it. We're also going to be doing a meet and greet on one of the days and then the panel on the next day and I just, I cannot wait. It's going to be the greatest experience ever and I just, I need summer now. <laughs> if any of you are going to Book Expo or BookCon, please let me know. I would love to meet some of you there. I'll leave all all the info for it linked in the description box if you want to know more about the dates and times of our panel and our meet and greet. If you want to come to either of those, I would really appreciate it. But yeah, it's going to be a fantastic time and I just... Oh, I need May right now. <laughs> I also have some other really exciting plans this summer. I'm going to be spending some time in Boston. I'm going to be spending some time with friends and I'm definitely going back to Colorado to visit my dad. For those of you who don't know, my dad lives in Colorado. So I go there every few months or so just to visit and I'm going to be going back this summer. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also potentially going to a Panic at the Disco concert this summer because Panic at the Disco released new music. If you didn't know, Panic at the Disco, one of my favorite bands, released new music Music and well they're going to be releasing their new album in like I think June I think that's when it comes out which is too far away from now but they released a couple of new songs off of the album and I've been loving them so so much and they're going on tour so I'm just anxiously waiting for this tour date to arrive so I can actually go and see them live because I think I would actually pass out if I saw Brendan Urie in person. I think that would happen. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it for my summer plans. So like I said, I'm just so looking forward to this summer. I'm definitely going to enjoy every single minute of it and I can't wait for it to come. I'm forgetting to eat my ice cream and now it's all melting because I'm talking too much. <laughs> but yeah, what else has been going on with me? <laughs> I feel like school preoccupies so much of my time that I honestly like don't have any other life <laughs> apart from like that and YouTube and you all basically see what's going on on YouTube. In terms of YouTube, I feel like this semester I have gotten way more adjusted to getting on to like a regular uploading schedule. I've been uploading pretty frequently. I upload at least once, mostly twice a week. And that's pretty good because last semester I would go like two weeks weeks, sometimes three weeks without uploading a video. That was for a multitude of reasons, but mostly just because adjusting to school and doing YouTube was hard because it's so much work to do both. Like, I don't think people realize that sometimes. I get comments from a lot of people asking me like when I'm uploading my next video, when I'm uploading my next video. And like, I upload at least once a week, which I feel like is what most YouTubers do. Like most of like the bigger YouTubers only upload once a week. Sometimes they only upload once a month. And yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people understand how much work goes into doing like even a single video. And when you're also doing like full time at school, that's a lot of work and sometimes it's just not manageable. Uh, so yeah, I try and upload as much as I can and I've been pretty proud of myself this semester with how that's been going. In terms of my reading, I feel like I've had a really great reading year so far, except this like past month, basically like March and the end of February got kind of like iffy. I said I've been having a great reading year so far. That's basically just January that was great. You know, time is just... <laughs> I started off the year really great. I read like 18 books in all of January, which was just like crazy. I read so much and it was great. And then February, I started off really strong. I'm like 17 books ahead of schedule in my reading challenge, which is awesome. But um, this like past month, I think I read like two books because I was just busy with school and like, you know, other things got in the way and I just didn't feel like reading. I got distracted by Netflix. I started watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I watched all of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which let's take a minute to talk about that. <laughs> that show genuinely 
destroyed me because it's so so good and it's now like one of my favorite shows ever so if you've watched like all of my videos you may have picked up on this but i'm not the biggest anime fan and that's like not for any particular reason other than like this weird thing from my childhood where like certain types of animation or drawings or art just like disturbed me as a kid and because of that like i wouldn't watch certain cartoons and it's not just anime it's just like certain animated shows there's no reason for why i won't watch something but like it's just like my mind will like look at something and I'll just be like no I can't watch that one because it's like too much I don't know how to describe that it doesn't make any sense it's just like a weird thing from my childhood <laughs> but basically because of that I've been kind of put off from most animated shows or movies and things especially anime because that's like the biggest genre of animated things obviously that sounds like kind of contradictory because my favorite show of all time Avatar The Last Airbender is animated but like the animation in that one never bothered me I think partially because I grew up on it but anyway long story short because of my weird animation thing I've never really gotten into watching anime but a lot of people were talking about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and saying that it's really really good I saw a ton of people mentioning that on Twitter I know a couple of people in real life who really like it so one day I just decided that I would try Full Metal Alchemist because a lot of people loved it so much and I started watching it and I really didn't get into it like I thought it was interesting but it didn't really capture my attention too much until last week during spring break my sister and I sat down and just decided to watch like the whole thing we just wanted to watch like a few episodes but we both then got like really hooked this was like several months after I first tried to watch it and yeah so we ended up watching the entire show in like a few days like yeah I think it was just a few days four days something like that and oh my god like my life has not been the same <laughs> I love the show so so much and I just like I didn't want it to end I want more I know that there's like the original show too and I can watch that one I can just rewatch the show I know there's a movie I know that there's a live action movie like there are so many variations of it of course there's like the manga as well but like I just want more of the show <laughs> like I want more I want to know more about all of these characters and ugh, I fell so in love <laughs> but anyway that's my tangent about Full Metal Alchemist because like I just had to mention it it's just such a good show and I'm so obsessed other shows I have been watching recently um I am as always hate watching Riverdale because it's just fun to hate watch I am also watching oh I just finished watching The Magicians which the season finale just aired and I love that show. I like hate it, but I love it. Mostly I love it. It's just so entertaining, but I can't wait for the next season. All of my ice cream is melting because I'm not eating it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that's it for TV shows that I've been watching. Like I said, I also watched like all of Brooklyn Nine-Nine obsessed adore it but yeah full metal alchemist that one has just destroyed me entirely if you were wondering ed is my favorite character <laughs> what was i even talking about before i went off on my tangent about full metal alchemist oh books i haven't been reading <laughs> But in terms of the books that I have read, um, I recently read Children of Blood and Bone, which I've mentioned a couple times on my channel now. I'm so obsessed. Like, it's such a good book, and I want to read it again and again and again, and I need the second book now. I've mentioned this several times, but I'm definitely going to be doing a review for that one, too. I can't wait to talk about that book. Oh, other random life thing. I recently cut my hair. I feel like you really can't tell on camera because you only ever see me from, like, here up anyway, so my hair always looks, like, pretty long but I did cut my hair. It was much, much longer than this before. It used to go down like all the way to my butt, like when it was straight, but now when it's curly, it's like all the way up to like my upper mid back. Um, because like every time, if you don't know, like if you don't have curly hair, when you cut it, it definitely like gets lighter. So the curls get curlier. So they spring up a lot more. And so it looks a lot shorter. Um, so yeah, my hair is actually much, much shorter now, but it definitely needed to be cut because I hadn't cut it in about a year. But yeah, it's much healthier now and it's much lighter and it feels pretty good. I've been talking for so long that literally like all of my ice cream has melted. <laughs> I think one thing that I've been kind of struggling with a lot this past semester year really is finding the right balance of how to share parts of my life with you all. To be completely honest, like this past year, a lot has been going on in my life. Like a lot's changed, a lot has happened, and it's been a lot of things that I haven't been able to share. And that's for a multitude of reasons. It's sometimes because I'm currently going through it and it's not something I can talk about 
even to my closest friends, let alone thousands of people online. <laughs> and other times it's just like something that is so personal that it's impossible to talk about with almost anyone. And sometimes it's because I haven't even sorted through my feelings about it. So I don't even know what I'm feeling. So it's not the right time to talk about something. But I am also the type of person who likes to share like everything about myself with people. I'm 100% an oversharer. I tell way too many people, way too many things that are so personal about me and they don't need to know these things, but I still share them because I have a problem. <laughs> but finding a way to, you know, appropriately do that when you have like an audience of people watching you is something that I have not yet learned how to do. <laughs> it's been something that I've really been struggling with figuring out because I want to share about my life. Like I want you all to know me a lot more and I really don't know how to do that without doing it wrong. Basically, I'm saying all of this to ultimately say that there's a large part of my life that doesn't get shared on YouTube. That sounds more dramatic than I mean it to. There isn't like some whole secret life that I have. It's just <laughs> that there's like a part of me, the part of me that feels all of these different emotions, that feels sad, that feels anxious, that feels so many different things that I don't get to really communicate when I'm just sitting here talking about some of my favorite books from the past month. And I want that part of me to somehow come across in my videos. And I wanna find a way to do that. So that's been something that I've been toying with and struggling with for, especially the, these past six months for sure, but basically this past year. And yeah, I still don't know where I stand with any of this. So basically I just gave you all this like giant rant to tell you that I have no idea what I'm doing with myself or my life or anything, but you know, I feel like everyone is kind of there. <laughs> But yeah, so that's basically it for my life update. If you need the TLDR, I am stressed from school. I cannot wait for this summer, especially BookCon. I am obsessed with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and I have no idea what I'm doing with my YouTube channel, let alone my life. But yeah, there you all have it. That is it for my life update. I really love doing these like personal, kind of more chatty videos because like I just went on a whole rant about, I really like sharing things about myself. So doing these types of videos is definitely something I enjoy. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed watching me make my ice cream sundae and chatting with you all a bit. But now it's time to get into the giveaway portion of this video. So because in Stay Sweet, the ice cream stand is run by women and owned by women, all of the giveaway prizes that are gonna be in the different videos, the ice cream sundae videos that'll be uploaded throughout this month by different booktubers, the prizes for each of these giveaways are going to be by women-owned companies, which is really, really amazing. So each booktuber's video will have a different prize, so you have the chance to win a really cool thing and all of them will be different. But if you choose to enter my giveaway specifically, the winner will win a Swell water bottle, which I love these water bottles. They're so nice if you've never used them. This one in particular is this beautiful lavender color. It is so, so gorgeous and it's part of like the stone collection or something. So it's kind of like rough on the outside. And that is because you can actually draw on this water bottle with these chalk markers, which you will also be winning in the giveaway. So you'll get these three chalk ink pens which you can use to actually like draw on the water bottle and I've tested them out and it looks so cool. I'll show you all because it's literally just like so awesome and I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> I hope you can see it right there, but like I just signed my name and drew a little heart. But yeah, you can like write all over this and it's so great. And then the best part of it is that it just like washes off with water. So like if you just run this underwater, it will come off. I've tried it. I literally drew all over this like four times and it comes off and it's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super, super obsessed with this and I cannot wait to give one of these away because I know whoever wins one will definitely enjoy it. Oh, and of course, I almost forgot to mention, of course the giveaway winner will also be winning a copy of Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. So yeah, you'll be getting the book, the water bottle, and the chalk ink pens. So I'm very excited about this giveaway. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, I'm gonna be doing it through Rafflecopter. So basically you just have to go to the link that I've put in the description box and just follow the steps that are listed in Rafflecopter in order to enter the giveaway. The giveaway will begin right from when this video goes up all the way until next Sunday, April 15th. So you have basically a week to enter. But yeah, that's basically it for all of the giveaway requirements and everything. There's a lot more information in the 
description box if you want more details just to make sure that you're eligible. Please go and read through the description box just to check all of that. And if you would like to enter, just go and click on the Rafflecopter link. It's very easy to follow. And then I will randomly be choosing a winner on the 15th of April and I'll be messaging them. So yeah, I am just so, so excited about this and I cannot wait for people to enter and I can't wait for the winner to get their prize. But yeah, that basically sums it up for the giveaway and for this video. Once again, a huge, huge thank you to Simon & Schuster for sponsoring this video. I am very, very excited about it. Like I said, it was a very fun video for me to film, super different from everything that I'm used to doing on my channel, and that kind of helps me, like, you know, expand my content a little, which is something I'm always looking to do. But I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed making an ice cream sundae with me and watching me eat it and talk about my life a little bit. And I hope that this inspired some of you to just, like, go out, make yourself an ice cream sundae, or if you don't like ice cream, make yourself something that you really enjoy, relax on this Sunday, take some time to yourself, read a great book, and just enjoy your day. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always, but thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!